What's up, Cancer? This is Soul. And Cancer, this is your uh, weekly tarot forecast uh, beginning September 2nd and ending September 8th, 2019. It is for Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon, and Cancer Rising signs as well. All right, my fellow crabs, it's a new week, new uh, energies. I'm using a new deck. I'm using the uh, Witches Tarot deck by Karen Dugan. And I'm also introducing um, the Gilded Reverie Lenormand uh, deck that was created by Ciro uh, Marchetta. Marchetti, I'm sorry. There's only 36 cards in the Lenormand, and I'm going to select two cards, and they're red from the red in pairs, and it's always from left to right. So, with that being said, let's get right into your uh, reading and see what the energies are going to be for you. Oh, and uh, happy Labor Day. Please be safe. Please say some prayers for the, the people in Texas. Uh, pray for the people who are in the path of Dorian. Pray for those kids who got shot in Alabama. That's all that tower stuff that showed up in the last week uh, reading that I've given um, three signs that received the tower. Okay, it, just crazy stuff. And then, you know, of course, our politics that never stops getting crazy. <laughs> it's only going to get worse. Anyway, so let's see what's coming up for you, Cancer. Um, in this upcoming week, what is uh, Cancer's focus? What is Cancer's energies? Uh, wait a minute now. All right, Cancer, your shadow energy uh, relates to the Five of Pentacles, okay? So there could be some concerns or worries about money, not having enough to pay bills, meet your, your, um, meet your bills, meet your debts. This is also the uh, energy feeling left out in the cold, so it could be uh, someone uh, giving you the cold shoulder treatment. God forbid that cancers are giving people the cold shoulder treatment, but I knew a I know it does occur. Um, so, but it's the focus of not having enough, okay, to take care of possibly your expenses. Um, just feeling like you're coming up short or just don't have enough, all right? Five of Pentacles represent Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, male or female. Now, the five is a card of minor. There's worry and concerns, but I feel that on the level of the five, it's, a, it's minor worries. It just could be some things that are uh, concerning and it's related to you know your budget or some other type of finances this card um really that represents a loss okay or not having enough but your focus is on the six of swords so positive things moving forward this could be involving traveling six of swords is leaving uh some sort of uh, turmoil behind and now you're moving into clearer calmer waters energies so, if there is traveling involved for you, Cancer, it's safe passage to and safe passage from. That's the Six of Swords energy in the upright, representing Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, male or female. So, let's select the rest of your uh, energies to see what we come up with. Okay, Cancer, what's up next? Following that Six of Swords is the Five of Swords. All right, there's some conflicting stuff. Now, it is in the past position. So, Five of Swords, sorting shit out. Maybe there was something that you needed to sort out and it was tied up into the Five of Pentacles. Now, you have re received two fives here. So, remember the fives and tens is potential energy that you may be dealing with. And then it's just, uh, it's definitely going to be a, a change of new energy and i feel that even though the five of pentacles is up in the upright um there is going to be uh energy that changes where you're not going to be worried about your finances or you know no longer concerned overly about your finances and so because this five of swords shows up here in the past position still part of your energy here for the uh upcoming week sorting 
your mental energies out and it may be like i said tied into your finances not having enough money but whatever those uh sorting of energies are for you cancer that's what you have to apply the messages uh to all right so just a little mental conflicting energy it could be internal now it could be external you know that you're sorting uh energies out and it's referencing other people uh you know people get like getting on your damn nerves or something like that because this is a stress card um uh, five of uh swords is a stress card it, it's mental stuff you know but it's at a i don't want to say a minute level but it's at a minor level it's not too stressful um but it is some stress, okay? Following that, um, five of swords, again, air sign, energies, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, male or female. See, there's the money improving right there. Eight of pentacles. Ooh, excuse me. So isn't it funny how the five of swords shows up after the six of swords, after the six of swords is the focus for us about moving away from some sort of turmoil. Swords represents conflicting energy. And we're moving into clearer, calmer waters. The five of swords that is in the past position represents a connection that I feel for some of us who may have had to deal with an issue of finances that were either we were short or there wasn't enough or something else that was going on. So this is the improvement that's taking place already in this upcoming week that there is going to be a vast improvement in our finances or we're going to balance things out this is the eight of pentacles and it's the uh equal number of pentacles so that's the balancing also it's a card of generosity the pentacles showing up at all uh, the good pentacles that are showing up could represent uh increase in pay it could be a you know like a pay raise promotion it could be a job okay but this is you um being very very if it is involving a workplace environment being very very um studious i guess in terms of uh you know keeping your focus on your work and and minding what you're doing and so this is the improvement of our finances based on the shadow card the five of swords i mean i'm five of pentacles that has shows showed up now we still have more cards to uh Reveal, the Eight of Pentacles represents Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, male or female. Now we have the Seven of Wands. So, of course, this is not feeling like you're being attacked, even though it may be a description of the guy looking like he's being attacked. I don't always get it like that. The Seven of Wands for me, when I read, is always that stand your ground cancer. Do not fold. Do not bend. If it is about decision making and it's connecting with your finances, maybe you've finally figured out. Uh, to get yourself back on track on the right foot when it comes to your finances. This is the card that says stick to that, whatever you came up with. The wands could also represent the persuasion of other people who may try to change your mind. If you have already developed, uh, you know, your mind or have your mindset set on something. OK, this is do not fold, do not fold. Yeah, do not fold, do not bend and do not give in to your own whims stick to it okay because if you if it's in the reverse then it would be that you gave in and then you were gave in because you did it for self or you were persuaded by others with those wands representing those people so yeah this is just stick to your gut stick to whatever your intentions are going to be seven of wands is uh fire aries leo sagittarius male or female Next up after um, Seven of Wands, now we have Three of Wands, which is positive energy moving forward. This is two in traveling car for me. And the traveling car fits right underneath the other traveling car. So this is something positive.